One thing that never seems to change from generation to generation is the desire to belong. There's nothing like the camaraderie of being in on something special. But when you discover that you want it, not for who you are, but for what you have, it can be a painful experience. And what's even worse is realizing that you've neglected those that really matter the most. And that's our story in this episode of Still a Beaver.
Weaver? Why? Is Ollie home? No, he went out with your grandmother. Something about an emergency trip to the toy store. He was supposed to help me with my diorama today. Oh, well, I guess I could help you. But I'm not very good with foreign languages. <laughs> Get it? Diorama? Foreign language? <laughs> Never mind. I'll come back later. Where you go, I still don't think you have the makings of a real gladiator. Well, I bought the uniform. Clothes don't make the man, Cleaver. Yeah, right. Yeah. I'm letting you use our garage as a clubhouse. That helps. Being a gladiator is more than that. It's a way of life. We're always together. Right. 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 Yeah. Yeah. We stand up for each other. Yeah. yeah. That's what I want. Some guys will stick by me. Oliver, I've been waiting for you. Kelly, what are you doing here? This is secret stuff. But you were supposed to be helping me with my diorama today. I can't now. This is much more important. It's my destiny. <laughs> If you aren't glad the material, I can be tough if I'm pushed. <laughs> All right, we'll let you in. But first, you got to take the secret oath. But if it's a secret, how will I know what to say? <laughs> <laughs> Watch my lips. Do you swear to uphold all the rules of the gladiators, to be loyal to all of the members? And keep all our stuff a secret until after you die. <laughs> well, I'm not allowed to swear, but I'll promise real hard. <laughs> Falcon, I think we better throw this one back in the car. Yeah. All right, you're it, kid. Now prepare for the final test. Breath. <laughs> boys in uniform again. Mom, he's joined a band of junior terrorists. They're out in the garage chanting. Oh, I wouldn't worry about it. I think that's the way the Beatles got started. I don't like it. They didn't have groups like that when I was a boy. No, I just bought you that Zorro outfit of you slash Z's all through the neighborhood. Do you know you frightened Mrs. Donaldson's cat so badly that it was three weeks before that cat could eat solid food again? Mom, Zorro only fought for good. He'd run these kids right out of old California. Beaver, you understand what Oliver's going through, don't you? Everybody he cares about is involved with something else. Yeah, I guess he wants to be a part of something. But if I had my way, I wouldn't be those gladiators. Now, you know as well as I do, if you forbid him from joining, it's going to make them that much more attractive. Yeah, maybe you're right. But if those kids start pillaging Mayfield, you're going to be the one that has to explain it to the neighbors. <laughs> okay, now give me that uh, orange and yellow thing. We'll put it right here in the lake. Dad, it's a pterodactyl. It has wings. I think it goes in the sky. <laughs> No, see, mine is coming. Hey, look, uh, I may be older than you, but I wasn't around during the Mesozoic Age. Stick it right there. Okay, now hand me that tree. You are going to put it in the ground, aren't you? Give me a break, will you? I bet I'm doing better homework than any of the other fathers. <laughs> yeah, this is kind of fun. Good, because I'm going to need more help. Since Oliver dumped me for those gross friends of his. Kelly, I know Ollie hurt you. But you guys are more than friends, you're family. And if you turn your back on him, you'll both end up losing. You understand what I mean? Dad, stop looking around. The project's due on Wednesday. <laughs> We're going to teach 
you had a chicken fight, too. Yeah. So, Sam, don't you think I should read up on this verse? There's nothing to it. Please follow the gladiator's motto. Hit the other guy back before he's had a chance to hit you first. <laughs> Today. Well, the bell rang at 8.30, then I was in homeroom till 9.10, well, then I traded my lunch to Janet. Mm -hmm. I think her father means, did anything interesting happen to you today? Oh, well, I don't think anything interesting is going to happen to me until I get a car. <laughs> Kip, is your brother coming down to dinner, or is he out at the chariot races? <laughs> Well, greetings, humanoids. I hope you come in peace and enjoy rump roast. Oliver, I thought you were a gladiator. Oh, I am. But a guy's got to start thinking out of his future. Oh, well, that's nice, dear. But on our planet, we don't wear space helmets at the dinner table. But I can't take it off. It's against Federation rules. Oliver, you heard what your grandmother said. Take off the helmet. Oliver? What happened to you? I'll tell you what happened. The gladiators did this, didn't they? I can't tell. Well, I didn't mean it, because they're my friends. Dad, I'm going to get the camera. This would make a great Christmas card. Just hold it, Kip. And where were you when this happened? Don't blame me. I was nowhere near him at the time. Yeah. Well, maybe you should have been. He's your little brother, and it's your responsibility to help protect him. I can take care of myself, Dad. Not by the looks of it. We're going to have to have a little talk about your extracurricular activities. Look, there's plenty of time to discuss this later. Come on, I want to put some ice on that eye. Uh, Grandma, I'm hungry. <laughs> Kip, I know it's not cool to hang around your little brother, but he does look up to you, and he needs you to be a good influence. hard for a guy to be a good influence when his best friend is Freddie Haspel. <laughs> there. Swelling's going down already. I think the worst is over. Yeah, I don't think the worst is going to be over until Dad finishes punishing me. Mm. Maybe your father was right. If I hadn't bought that costume, none of this would have happened. But it really was an accident. I like being a gladiator. What are you doing? I'm throwing this junk out once and for all. But, Dad, if I don't have that stuff, I can't be a gladiator. Exactly. Julie Woods ever played the game. 
wish Oliver would hurry up. I told him he could tag along with us today. Don't worry about him. I told him to make like a drum and beat it. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Freddy. I promised my dad I'd start looking after him. I promised my dad I'd mail in his tax return. <laughs> Come on, if we get there before coach, we can lower the net a few more inches. <laughs> Whereas my client, Edward Haskell, steadfastly maintains his innocence, I have convinced him that it would be prudent to settle this matter out of court. I hope that you concur and accept his generous offer to attach a heater to those heating vents he installed in your hospital room. Sir, the law attorney at law. Boy, I still like the way that sounds. Well, Mr. Haskell, what can I Wait a minute, Ollie. Come here. This is a anti-gravity machine. Helps me get rid of my back pains. That's why I'm home from work early. Want to try it? No, thanks. When I get older and start creaking. <laughs> Uncle Wally, I have a legal question to ask you. Can kids do their dads? Uh, well, it's not unheard of, but you'd have to have a very strong case. Oh, boy, do I. Dad threw away my gladiator stuff just because I got a black eye. I think that's cruel and unusable punishment. Uh, yeah, that is pretty rough. But, um, I'm afraid the only way that you could sue your dad for throwing away your stuff was if you were wearing it at the time. It's not fair. I have no one to play with. The gladiators kicked me out, Marcus has band practice, Kip's too busy, and Kelly hates my guts. Well, that's a bum rap, all right. But, uh, you know, I have a hunch if you apologize to Kelly, she might uh, change your opinion of your guts. Hi, Dad. Hi, Kelly. Cousin. Pal. <laughs> oh, Oliver, I thought you'd be with your gladiator friends making first graders walk through puddles. No, the gladiators won't play with me because Dad threw away my stuff. So I decided to come over and apologize to you for being mean. Isn't that nice? Real nice. He only wants to be my friend when nobody else will play with him. I'm going over to JJ's. They're having their roof fixed, and she's going to give me real tar for my diorama. Now that's a friend. <laughs> Well, it looks like we lost the case, Ollie. Sorry. It's okay. Can't win them all. I'm good with are cakes and jellos. Well, good luck. Thanks, Grandma. Let's 
their battle gear fall into enemy hands is definitely not gladiator material. I'm just as good as anyone here. Prove it. I'm not scared of nothing. I once watched my brother get stitches and I didn't even cry. <laughs> Oliver, don't be stupid. You don't have to prove anything to these zeros. Watch your car is zero, shorty. Stay out of this, Kelly. Oh yeah, I forgot. I don't count. I'm not a gladiator. Do you really want to get back in the club? I stole the uniform back, didn't I? Then crash your stupid dinosaur thing. Oh, well, uh, I would. But the Stegosaurus is mine. And it's a part of the family. Come on, Oliver. Don't you want to be one of the guys? Yeah, well, uh... Then smash it, right? You heard him. You want to be a big, bad gladiator, don't you? Yeah, but I can't do that to you. Okay, then I'll smash it for you. No, Kelly, don't do it! I smash you two. They're square dancing. I'm going to square dance with her and be friends with you, Zeros. Nobody says that to us and gets away with it. Right. My cousin just did. Well, she's not going to get away with it. Order! Order! Hold it! You want to get to them? You'll have to go through me first. Okay. I don't believe this. What are we going to do with you guys? <laughs> Kelly, how am I going to explain this to your mother? You could tell her it's an art project. Dad, can I say something? Why not? Somebody in your position has nothing to lose. I think a lot of this is your fault. My fault? Tell me, Kip, just how hard did that guy hit you? No. <laughs> See, all during volleyball practice today, I kept missing easy spikes and setups. And I finally had to admit the reason why. Because you're really not a good volleyball player? <laughs> See, after I heard about what you said, you know, about how Oliver needs me and stuff, well, I went to find him. I made you feel real bad, huh? You sure did. And, Daddy, it was because of what you said about how family was the most important thing that I didn't give up on Ollie. I'm kidding. You felt bad, too, huh? Looks like I'm the only one who's still in trouble. I know still all my stuff back was wrong. It certainly was. It's just that I wanted to be a gladiator so bad that nothing else mattered. But I sure found out who my real friends are. Ollie, we'll always be friends. Just because we're friends again doesn't mean you can get mushy on us. <laughs> okay. Come on in, Eddie. to share the secret of your youthful appearance. Who should be your father? Well, he sends his regards, but he was detained in an unforeseeable toll booth altercation. Are those the revised hospital blueprints? Yes, sir. And my father's convinced that these documents will allow him to remain a free man. I'll try, but I'm only human. No. Goodbye, sir. Yeah, bye, Freddy. Oh, hey, Freddy. Is my check in the envelope? Well, ordinarily it would be, but the tellers at my father's bank are on strike. And in support of their cause, he's refusing to use the facilities. <laughs> Do you believe that, sir? Not in the least. I told him you wouldn't. Good day, sir.